the most interesting conversation of the whole day was with a nine-year-old Taekwondo player from Doncaster and I asked him why Taekwondo and he said it's something he watched in the Athens Olympics when he was five on television. Do you know the impact? Absolutely thrilled to have the Dutch swimmers based in Yorkshire in the lead up to 2012. Every team that comes over to, to train with us will get a fantastic Yorkshire welcome. If we can get a small slice of the, the tourism influx, then happy days. Paul Dighton wasted no time getting stuck in at this brand new facility, the first one of its kind outside London. He wants to make sure Yorkshire's match fit for the 2012 games, and this outdoor multi-gym is just one way of getting the county involved. People here are Hemsworth, great, we usually get forgotten, and here we are top of the list, people of all ages getting involved in all sorts of physical activity. And what I love, it's not that they're just here for the day, but they're all figuring out how this is going to be, you know, an ongoing part of their programme to keep fit and get active. I think it's great. It looks effortless. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's, I'm always just there. it's just awesome. There might not be any medal winners here today, but who knows what this multi-gym could help these youngsters achieve further down the line. Although on a wet day here at Headingley, it's quite hard to imagine what it's going to be like in 2012. Um, it is going to be, uh, uh, you know, the greatest sporting event this country has ever known. And the effects in the build-up and afterwards will stretch right round the country. The idea of the Open Weekend was to start the countdown to the big games and to encourage everyone to get involved, whether sporty or not. I love it, I think it's really good because you do have to be good dancing and have fun and uh, it's a really good atmosphere, I think it's really good for Bradford. We're here to join with the step up in Bradford. Yow. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Max and coats and water and keep us going all day. He'll actually be five years of of age when the Olympics actually start, so, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. There was a whole series of events in Yorkshire, but the big one was in Bradford. The aim was to get 2012 people of all ages involved in a massive dance-off. They'd learnt their moves beforehand based on 12 different sports. Now all they had to do was coordinate them. There'll be an open weekend every year now in the run-up to the Olympic Games in 2012. The organisers hope they'll make people outside London feel a part of it. And if this weekend is anything to go by, the people of Yorkshire certainly need very little encouragement.